Welcome back adventurers to Let's Play Mist Masterpiece Edition. When last we left off we arrived here in the Stone Ship Age and made a few very interesting discoveries. It appears that well the Stone Ship Age has fallen on some hard times as, as it were. Um, I also have on my position a red page that was found in one of the chambers of here in Stone Ship, and in another chamber was the blue page. These pages are key components, of course, of Cirrus's red book and Akinar's blue book. Now the mystery remains as to why the pages are here in the first place. But before we answer that question, I was going to see if I could get find a way into the lighthouse. So let's head back to this contraption and press this final switch to see if this will actually filter out the water that's in here. And what do you know? It does. So now down here is a chest of some kind that's apparently locked but it does appear to have some sort of valve at the bottom there that's currently letting out water so now now that that's empty let's go back up and see if we can use a pump to float that treasure chest back up to the surface And it didn't happen. I know what the problem was. I should have set the valve when I was down there. One moment. Let me just filter out the water again. Of course, since the valve is open, the water won't go back into the treasure chest. So let's close the valve like so and head back up to the pump again. This time we should be able to access the treasure chest. Hopefully it contains treasure. So you let's use that key. And uh, treasure for unlocking the treasure chest with a key is a key. This one's actually quite important. This one actually goes up here I think. Does it fit the lock? Yes it does. Now we can Head up the lighthouse, and here appears to be the generator that Atrus built in order to power the lighthouse. It appears to be the battery appears to be empty at the moment, so let's try churning the, this handle and see if it actually does do anything. Oh, it's got some charge, so. Give us about five minutes or so, and um, hopefully we should have the um, battery for the lighthouse charged. Let's give it a few more turns. Listen to that awesome ambience. See if that's done the trick. All right, the battery is now fully charged, so let's head back down. We don't need the chest anymore. Um, it should be on, um, although I can't see it from here. Need, uh, let's hit up these planks that appear to lead somewhere as far as the map was concerned. And apparently it leads to a telescope overlooking the Stone Ship Age. So it's currently pointed at zero, so let us move. No, I didn't want to click out of the screen. Um, let us turn the telescope to see what landmarks are out there in the Stone Ship Age. I have to say though, this telescope is fairly small. You can't really see much, although you can see bits and pieces. Let's try going 360 degrees. Um, well, there, well, there at least is the lighthouse that's 
blinking, so that means it's on. That appears to be at um, 135 degrees. I might want to make a note of that just in case. But um, anyway, while we do that, we um, let's make a note here. There's 180 degrees. It appears to be in part of the ship that we can see, and there's some more rocks. Um, actually, let's go the other way because I think we're about 200. I didn't mean to click out of the telescope there, but what can you do? So if we go back instead of going all the way the other way, let's try and get back to where we were. Um, it doesn't appear to be anything out there. No signs of life, no habitation. Nothing to suggest anyone is here. So there's no sign of Emmett, Branch or Will or any of the people that lived here. Did they disappear? Did they move on? Or did something untoward happen to them? Something more sinister? Anyway, now that we actually have power, let's see if we can... Let's see if anything else is illuminated. Well, there appears to be some kind of light down here. That's very fortunate. Which means we don't have to wallow through the murk of darkness. Um, doesn't appear to be anything. I'm try looking down again. Though, actually now that I look here, there appears to be some sort of light here or something. This wall actually looks different from a lot of the other ones, so let's check it out. And what do you know? A secret compartment leads underwater, which is excellent. And here we have a compass. So this would be 0, 90, 180, 240 I think, and 360. Um, so you are basically north, south, east and west and all the other directions as well. Um, so what happens when I press any one of these buttons? Nope, we've done something wrong. Um, uh, how do I get out of here? Um, well, that wasn't the right button. Button, button, push a button, just not that one. So, we've now apparently lost power. So, let's head back to the lighthouse and charge the battery. Yep, pushing the wrong button kills some kind of circuit breaker or something, which means we have to charge the battery up again. Let's keep charging the battery. And stop. There we go. Oh no, not quite charged yet. One more turn. And it should be charged now. There we go. So the lighthouse is charged again. So now let us flood the pump. Um, I'm flood the pump before we go back down there. Before and let's head back to that chamber again that seems to have reset itself. Um, probably in, you know, when the water came up. So now let's head back to the compass. And the key to the compass actually lies with the telescope. As you remember, I said, you know, that this was 0, 90, 180, 240. And, you know, 
technically zero is also 360 degrees as it's a full circle but the clue lies with that telescope now if you remember there was one landmark in particular that I made a note of and that was the lighthouse that was at 135 degrees now if we press any other button on this compass we're going to pretty much have the power run out on us again the correct button to push is here at 135 degrees because that's where the lighthouse is so let's push that button And let there be light. We have light at last. So let's get out again. And I think that now that we have light, we might be able to explore that ship at last. So let's press the pump and head back down to the ship. <laughs> There is indeed light, and there appears to be music. Kind of, it appears to be the same music that was playing in the ship on the mist. It appears to be, well it's a fairly nice looking ship, so it's not going to be of any use, but there appears to be a table here with nothing on it, so does it have a secret compartment or something? Well, at least we found... Well, we found another mist book. I don't know if it's the same as the mist book we used to get to Mist Island. But, um... Let's try it again. I have no idea how that does that. How... How does the book suddenly merge out of the table? And how does it merge into the table? That is a mystery that will remain unsolved. But anyway, we have a missed book. And it takes us to somewhere different. Instead of taking us to the dock, it takes us to what appears to be the library. So let's return to Mist with the red page. And here we are back again in Mist Island, staring up at the ceiling. So at least we know how to return. And we have another red page for the red book, so let us put the red page back in the red book and see what happens.
Well, that was a little bit clearer, if not by much. It was indeed Cirrus pleading his innocence and claiming that Akinar was the one responsible for the devastation of the Mist Library. And that he, Cirrus, has been wrongfully imprisoned. But that was only one side of the story. When we return, we shall head back to the Stone Ship Image and retrieve the blue page for the blue book and hear what Akinar has to say about his brother's accusations. Until next we meet.